All right, fellas, today we're going to talk about the best coaching adjustments that you could be using right now in Madden 22. These adjustments are what I use to compete in the top 10 of Madden 22. I'm currently ranked five. I was four, but when I go to sleep, bro, I lose rank. I, I went back to like 20. So I had to grind right back up to five. I think the guy in number one hasn't slept at all, man. To be honest with you, I can't catch that guy for some odd reason. Anyway, make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on, become a member of the Wolfpack members, the full Trey White Flex. Full ebook has been released in the member section. The defense that I use to compete in these hard games that I play, I, I'm literally, I play the same four or five guys that are in the top 10 over and over and over, bro. Okay, I just dropped the gameplay, a guy that I played three times in a row. So make sure you check that out. Anyway, what I'm going to show you here is going to help elevate your game. I promise. Let's talk about it. All right. So first up is auto flip defensive play call. If you're a newer Madden player and you're newer to the game, you want to make sure you leave that on on. Okay, so the CPU will flip your defensive play to best match the offensive formation. So if they're trying to run the ball heavy on you, you want to make sure your safeties, linebackers, everybody's aligned to the way the offense is aligned. So if they're coming out like in a bunch formation, strong, your defense will match that as far as their alignment. If they come out and spread and they're spread across the field, your defense will spread to align with them. So if you're newer, you want to leave that on. If you're a little bit more advanced like me, I leave it off because I set up my own defenses. I make crazy adjustments. I'm really fast with it. So I tend to leave that off because in my mind, I already know where my inside third is. I know where my hook zones are going. I know who's getting, you know what I mean? It's just, this comes with the advance. So you can leave that off if you want. Okay. But it's more beneficial to you if you're newer to leave that on. Okay. Auto alignment. You have two choices. Well, three choices. You got default. You have man. Defenders will align according to their man coverage assignments. Base defenders will align according to their base formation uh, position. So if you leave this, if you're not going to be running man defense, you can leave this on base. And the reason you want to leave it on base is to hide your coverage. Here's why. The difference between a cover three and cover four are going to be, it's going to be crazy. Let me show you what I mean. Okay, so let's just come to nickel two, four, five. All right. And let's look at Tampa two on the left side. Okay. If you look at Tampa 2, you have two deep half blues, which are on the top of the screen, right? You'll have them, uh, and they align themselves on the field. You'll see two guys back there at the top. In cover three, if you're not base aligned, right, and you just have it on default, your middle blue is going to be the only guy up top. He's going to look like a single high safety in cover three, and that's going to tip off your opponent. Oh, it's cover three? All right, well, let me go ahead and throw spacing on this guy because I know my spacing concept is actually going to kill cover three. So be careful. If you want to try to throw your opponent for a loop, you want to go ahead and leave that on base. But if you're running man, you want to leave this on man. You see what I'm saying? So you may, if like, say you come out base, you're running zone, zone, I'm going to run man this play. Come back to your coaching adjustments real quick. Change it to man defense or man align. And they will, they will line up in man. Okay, so, and you can also, if you're good enough and some defenses get glitched out, if you're a little bit more advanced, you can man align them while running zone. However, there's some zone plays where if you do that, your defense is going to be scrambled. Your blues are all going to be opposite. And it's going to be glitched out and your opponent's going to score an easy touchdown on you. So make sure you know the defense you're running, okay? And, and test it out. And if it looks scrambled or if it's scrambled, don't leave it on man. Leave it on default or base. So those are the ones. The one I tend to run with, is I'll either go base or default. I never really run the man one. Uh, I'll just pick man defense and run my defense the way I want. Ball in air defense. You'll have swap ball. AI will attempt to swat in two-man catch situations. Whenever it's late in the game, you want to put this to swap ball. If your opponent is trying to score like with 30, 40 seconds in the, fourth, in the second quarter or the fourth quarter, put this on swap ball. Now, if you're trying to get turnovers earlier in the game, you want to have this on play ball. AI will play the ball in two man catch situations where, you know, whenever, I don't know if you've played previous Maddens, but when two defenders are going for an interception, one just comes and swats the ball. Okay. If you put this on play ball, that defender won't jump and swat the ball no more. Instead, he'll go for the pick. So if you've been, if you've been uh, uh, missing interceptions because the AI defender just comes and LeBron James, the ball, you know what I'm saying? Like he just blocks it. This is why you got to put on play ball. So instead of him running and trying to swat it, he'll jump and hit it. Now, like I said, late game, I would use swat ball. I wouldn't use a uh, play ball late game if you're trying to just keep him from scoring or you can keep it on balance. AI players will play based on their ball in the air trait. So just a little advice for you guys there. I always keep it on play ball. That's that's how I do it. 
cornerback matchups, if you're going to be running man defense, you want to make sure you use by speed. Fastest cornerback will match up versus fastest receiver. So man defense by speed is going to be your best bet to keep up with a lot of them. Now, if it's a Tyreek Hill, you have no shot. Don't be running man press or man defense against the Chiefs or Tyreek Hill. If not, if you want to use by speed and then press, you're going to have to back off of him manually. And if you're newer to Madden, don't worry. I'm coming up with the Defensive Basics series where we're going to start from the ground, ground zero. Okay, and then we're going to go straight up and teach you guys everything play by play, adjustment by adjustment on the channel. So cornerback matchups by speed. And then you have by height, tallest cornerback will match up versus tallest receiver. You want to use this in the red zone. Because better players will try to highball you and throw over your head to like tight ends or whatnot. So your tallest people will match up with the tallest people and you're going to be good. Now by route running, let's say you already know Tyreek Hill is going to cook you by speed. You could do this by route running. So all the other receivers will be cooked and they'll be held. They'll be held to lower routes like they won't be able to get open the way they usually do versus route running. And then by depth chart matchup based on cornerbacks depth chart position versus receivers overall rating. I don't really use that one. The one I use the most is by speed. That's that's the one I personally use uh, to win a lot of my games. You know what I mean? Option defense. This is very critical because there's an RPO peak glitch that's out right now for Lamar Jackson. Balance standard gameplay conditions apply. So any option offensive play where there goes to the quarterback or stays with the running back. You want to make sure you set this to conservative, okay? Especially if you're playing a Lamar Jackson or a mobile quarterback. The pro is it focuses on the QB on the option. So if he tries to run with Lamar, when someone picks an option to play, they most likely want to run with their quarterback, okay? And you don't want them to put this on conservative and it's going to, they're going to keep their eyes focused on the, the quarterback. Now, if you come across someone, which is rare, you can set this on aggressive and put it on focus on dive and pitch in the option. But the QB, if he runs QB, they won't pay attention to him. They'll just keep going for the running back or leave it on balance. But if I were you, if you're playing a mobile QB, I automatically put this to conservative. I don't even waste time and I just leave it there the whole game. Now, strip ball, you got to be careful with this because strip ball, I mean, they get to, it doesn't tell you here. It's not going to tell you here, but. There's a lot of breakaway tackles. You'll see right here in tackling, there's a lot of animations that the opponent's going to get for extra yards just because you're trying to strip the ball. You could be giving them, you know what I mean? You could be giving them more yards by using this on aggressive. Uh, but you also have higher chance for AI to attempt to strip or higher fumble chance or higher chance of broken tackle and face mask penalty. You're going to get the face mask penalty most of the time. So leave that on balance. Tackling, you probably, if you're facing like a Derrick Henry, AI defenders will tackle conservatively, increase chances of allowing yards after contact. I will be careful because Derrick Henry will cook you on conservative. Um, he'll cook you on aggressive and then balance. If I were you, I would just, I would leave it on balance. Okay, don't, don't even mess it up. Now, the bread and butter of coaching adjustments is going to be right here. Zone drop flats. Okay, flats. You can set them to five. Now, pay attention to what I'm about to tell you because this is going to be very important. Okay, so these are going to be considered hard flats, cloud flats, and soft squats. All right. Now, if you're playing cover two defense, cover two, I would run five on flats. Five yards back for hard flats, cloud flats, and soft squats. And then I would shade underneath in my cover two defense. Okay. This is going to allow table routes, little swing routes and stuff, but your, your corners are going to break to those routes a lot faster than they would if you didn't do it. Okay. If you leave them to zero, your opponent can still drop a, a corner route or out route behind you. But if you want to scare him and make him think that it's not going to be open, you drop this to five and you're good in cover two. OK, if you're in cover three, you want to come over here to curl flats, right? And you want to change this. If you're going to be running Mabel defense, you're going to want to keep this on default and you're going to want to set this to 25. So you'll be putting a hard flat and then a curl flat on the same side of the field, which is called considered a Mabel. And then you'll have a flat route, a table route, and then you have a curl flat, and then you'll have that. You'll, you'll want to set that up to the strong side of the field. So the side of the field that has the most space is where you set your hard flat and your curl flat together, and you'll put this at 25. This adjustment right here with curl flats at 25 is going to stop most crossing routes on the field, corner routes, you know what I mean? And if you're running man defense and you want to set your safeties to purples, they will stop crossing routes, and that will be able, you'll be able to concentrate underneath uh, to stop drags or a small in routes or whatever. Zone drop hooks. 
if you're facing a mobile QB and contains aren't working, me, I personally, let me show you guys real quick. I personally leave this on 25. And if I'm playing cover two or cover four, I'm going to put this on five. So cover four, I will shade underneath two. Cover four, drop show two from the 335 wide. I'll put that on five. 25 on curl flats if I'm going to run anything else. And I'll put this back to default if I'm going to run anything like cover three, right? Cover three, trying to create a Mabel. This is how I would run it. Now, hook zones. If you put these to, to five to zero, these guys are going to drop down to the line of scrimmage. You don't want to do that. Five is going to be optimal for mobile QBs. However, everything behind your linebackers is going to be wide open. And then as you drop them further back, if he's throwing like like what do they call skinny posts, whatever you want to set this to 15 shade outside with your zones, you're going to be OK. You'll stop everything behind you about 10 yards back from where you would be positioned at the beginning of the play if that makes any sense and you can go further back and further back i wouldn't recommend going any further than 15 on hook curls so this one i usually leave on default until i need to change it okay now okay on offense what you want is on your deep pass catching right here you want to go ahead and just leave that to balance intermediate pass catching i leave it on balance blocking i leave it on balance the one that's most important to me right now in the state of madden 22 where fumbles are at an all-time high probably the worst i've ever seen them you want to put this to conservative now the pros is the ball carrier protects the ball decreased fumble chances i haven't fumbled since i put this on i haven't fumbled at all however i still get fumbles on my opponents because they don't know any better the cons is the ball carrier special moves disables except give up and cover ball so you won't be able to juke do spin moves and crazy stuff like that however that is a price to pay to make sure you don't turn the ball over so what's more important to you the jukes or keeping the ball because you are going to fumble the ball your quarterback's going to fumble the ball everybody's going to fumble the ball your kick returner is going to fumble the ball put it on conservative save yourself for the possession man don't worry about juking until they patch the game i would just run it like that so that's about it man quick explanation like i said when things change i'll do an updated version of this uh video if they change things and I use something different, I will let you guys know. Make sure you drop a like on today's video. Love you guys.